we'll guide you through how to connect an external hard drive or SSD to your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you want to check what connector your hard drive or SSD has, because some may have the same connector as your iPhone has. For example, if your iPhone has a USB-C, I'll cover how to identify that in just a moment, and your hard drive is also USB-C, then you might be able to plug it straight in. That isn't the case for me, and so I'll need an adapter. So what we now need to do is find out what port our iPhone has. So the newer iPhones at the moment, it's just the iPhone 15 and potentially newer have USB-C, while the older iPhones have the lightning adapter. So a good way to identify that is just by looking at the charging cable you use. So if your charging cable looks like this, this is a lightning cable, which means your iPhone's got a lightning port. Whereas this cable here is USB-C. As you can see, it's a bit wider um, and it's also hollow, whereas the lightning isn't. And this is USB-C, this is lightning. So now that you know what port your iPhone uses, you can then go and get an adapter. My iPhone is USB-C, so I've got a USB-C adapter to USB-A. As you can see, my hard drive is USB-A. I'm gonna go and put some links down below to adapters on Amazon. These are affiliate links, which support the channel and no extra cost to you. So then what we're gonna do is once you've got the adapter is plug it in, so I can plug it in. Then I'll go and plug my hard drive in just like so, and it's now connected. Now you may go and get a pop-up on your phone saying something like the drive uses too much power. If that's the case, it just means the hard drive is extracting too much power or trying to, and your iPhone doesn't have enough for it, so it won't work and you'll need to use another. However, this drive works fine with mine. So then what we can do is go and swipe across and you want to go and find the files app. So find yours, you can always search for it on your iPhone. So open it up and in the bottom right click on browse. Just click it a few times and you should get to this page where you may need to click back as well in the top left to get here. And then in locations you want to locate your hard drive or SSD. As you can see here mine is here. Mine's called Seagate. Yours will probably be called something else but it's going to have like a, a hard drive icon next to it or like a disk icon. And then you can go and click on it and you can see all your files. If you want to move files to or from your external disk, then all you need to do is find the file, whether that be on your hard drive or your iPhone, hold your finger on it. I'll do this one here like so. Then tap on move like this, and then you can choose where you want to go and put it. You may need to click on browse in the top left to find that location. I just want it on my iPhone and I'll just go and have it here and I'll press copy in the top right and that's it. It will now be copied to my iPhone. So if you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.